Welcome to this short tutorial video on issuing stock to jobs. To start the process open the required job you wish to issue a stock item to. Click on the costs tab and scroll down to the material section of the job costs screen. Click the add material button to open the add material cost window. If you need to add an equipment item to the job select the equipment radio button as indicated. Click on the issue from stock checkbox to enable the location and rack shelf drop down fields. Using the part or equipment drop down field select the required item you wish to issue from stock. Once the required part or equipment item has been selected select the required stock location from the location drop down and the rack shelf using the rack shelf drop down. Click the save button to complete the process. An icon representing that the material item has been issued from a stock location is displayed to the left of the material description. If you need to reverse a stock issue click the orange edit button to the right of the required material line and click on the issue from stock checkbox to remove the tick from the box. Clicking the save button will process the job stock issue reversal. You can view the details of the job stock issues by selecting stock, all stock records in the left hand panel. Find the required stock record and click on the number field to open it. Click on the audits tab, you can filter the stock audit list to display job stock issues or job stock issue reversals using the type drop down list as being shown now. This concludes the short tutorial video on issuing stock to jobs. Thanks for watching.